Welcome to the Character Chronicles, the People Show. Check the post Rescue Nation. Brought to you by Nebraska Spine Hospital. Ladies and gentlemen, fine folks at home, the good people of the Horn Husker State. It's another workout show here, a workout edition on the Character Chronicles. This smells like fresh pancakes in the morning here in the Chronicles studio. But I got asked a couple times this week, hey, Adam. What was your approach as a player, now a former player, obviously, going into spring ball? The Huskers started spring practice this past week, but what what were your goals? What were you trying to achieve? What was your attitude? What was your mindset going into spring practice? And it really, it's different if you're a younger player, if you're like a sophomore, junior, if you're an upperclassman. So there's really three different things that you're trying to achieve. First and foremost, all those position battles. There's going to be a lot of guys battling for Who's going to be the starter? Who's going to get the playing time? Okay, who's going to be the leader on this team? Who are those guys that are going to win those position battles where it's tight, it's close? Now, let me be very, very clear. I actually think every position should be up for grabs, if you want to know the honest truth. I don't care if you've never started it, if you're a three-year starter. And I had a marketing guy who worked for me a few years ago, and he said, high tide raises all ships. And I had no idea what he was talking about at the time. I'd never heard the, the phrase before. High tide raises all. Why are we talking about water? You know, but basically competition, okay? High tide raises all ships. Competition raises everybody's game, makes everybody better, pushes everybody to the next level. So the first and foremost thing is every position, okay, should be up for grabs as to who's going to earn it, especially the ones where it's tight, but every position as well. Number two, the young guys. All right, the young guys, this is your opportunity, for you to show the coaches what you can do. For you to show yourself what you can do. Okay. If you're trying to be the nickel back when the, if you're a defensive back when the, nick, when the corners is going to their nickel package or a pass rusher in that nickel package up front. If you're trying to be the starter as a young DB or the starter as a young old lineman or the starter wherever. I'll never forget. So my first year I redshirted. So the first six months I was at Nebraska, I just lifted, I practiced, I redshirted. I didn't play. I knew I wasn't going to play. And I'll never forget, going into our last game that year, Willie Amos. Remember Willie Amos? Very talented, great guy, defensive back that played for the Huskers. He was a national jump rope champion coming out of high school. I'm sitting there. It was like the last practice for our last game. And he looks at me at another defensive end that had come in, come in uh, with my class with me. And he said, he said, you guys can't hide behind them red shirts no more. And bullets real come spring ball. I knew what he meant. He meant that, hey, yeah, you're, you're getting better. You're working but you're going to be under that microscope come spring ball because now you're fighting for your position. You're fighting for playtime. You're fighting for everything. It was absolutely right. And I'll know, admittedly, my, my, first, my first six months in Nebraska was challenging. I was halfway across the country from where I grew up, basically most, most everything and everyone I'd ever known. So I got a little homesick, got the chance to go back home, got over that. And then my second semester, going, so that spring ball going into my redshirt freshman season was where I really not only proved to the coaches – that I could play, but I proved to myself that I could play at that level. Okay, so we would always go ones versus twos, all right, one offense versus two defense that spring, and I was running with the two defense, and I was going against the ones every day, and I was holding my own maybe, maybe, and then some a little bit, I'd like to think anyways, and so that's where I proved to myself and the coaches that I could play. Last but certainly not least, so first position battles, every position should be up for grabs and being earned. Number two, the young guys showing what they can do, proving to themselves, proving to the coaches what they can do. And last but certainly not least, the vets. Okay, this is where you can really hone your skills. This is where you can take your skills to the next level. If you're looking to play in the NFL, this is how you get better. This is how you really hone in on the things you've been doing over and over and over and just get better and better and better. You still got to earn your spot, but also being a leader on the team, setting the tone, okay? I know people are kind of tired of that C word, not the other one, culture. This is how this is how and when leaders become leaders on the team. They set the tone, they show their leadership, they display it, and they set the culture for the team and what it's going to be that upcoming season. So it's just as important to the guys who've been around, not only earning their spots, but taking those leadership roles and setting the tone and yes, the culture for the upcoming season. Have a great weekend. Go Big Red and always remember to throw the bug. Thanks again to our sponsor, Nebraska Spine Hospital. Ladies and gentlemen, when it's your spine, you do not want to mess around and experience matters. That's why you can trust the experts at Nebraska Spine Hospital, the region's only spine-specific hospital. They are the best at what they do.